Hey guys, welcome to another movie review. Um, I apologize that I haven't done a video in a long time. I just, my schedule's just really crazy again. So once again, I do apologize that this review is going to be as late as it is. Uh, for today's movie review, I am talking about Uncharted. This is based off of a series of video games by Naughty Dog. Um, I really liked stuff from Naughty Dog over the years. Like I liked the Crash Bandicoot games, which unfortunately they don't uh, work on anymore. They've handed it off to another studio. Uh, I liked the Jack and Daxter games, and of course I liked the Uncharted games too. So uh, when the news got out that an Uncharted movie was finally getting made, I got really excited. Um, in fact, I think I put this film on my top 10 most anticipated films of 2022. Um, it's just a franchise of games that I think really belongs on film and uh, deserves to be on film at some point. And so surely enough, we finally got one. Um, I know this film's been handed around to other directors over the years, uh, David O. Russell from Silver Linings Playbook was going to do it, and then Travis Knight from Bumblebee was going to do it, and I think Dan Trachtenberg from 10 Cloverfield Lane was going to do it, and so surely enough, uh, Venom director Ruben Flesher eventually landed the gig, and um, that's how we got here and got Uncharted. So in this film, you guys, basically we follow a young Nathan Drake played by Tom Holland of the Spider-Man films. He's working as a bartender in New York. Uh, we learn early on about how him and his brother... Um, were kind of these treasure hunters in a way when they were really young and so they kind of broke apart they didn't go to the same um adoptions they, they weren't they weren't a part of the same adoption center anymore and so they both moved on and so basically uh while nathan drake is working as this bartender as an adult he um, encounters a man named sully played by uh, mark Wahlberg. and for those of you who know nathan drake and sully are kind of the um they're kind of partners in the games, like they work on missions together in the games and stuff like that. And so basically Sully, who's played by Mark Wahlberg, once again a much younger Sully interpretation than the games, uh, kind of notices things about Nathan Drake that could help him on his treasure hunting since he's had been having issues lately with finding and tracking down certain things. He's worried about a um, treasure collector played by Antonio Banderas and how if some of these treasures got into his hands. There could be a lot of trouble since they're worth a lot of money and things like that. So basically over a little bit of convincing, a little bit of persuasion, um, Sully does get Nathan Drake to join him on this journey to find this uh, treasure that's um, out in this resort somewhere. <clears throat> and so basically Nathan Drake, uh, very early on you'll find out too, he's very textbook knowledgeable. Like he knows a lot of the stuff that you would have to look up in history books and stuff like that. And so Sully wants to use this to his advantage. So over the course of this film, Sully and Nathan Drake try to find this treasure, try to get it out of the wrong hands. They team up with a girl um, who's played by a Sophia Allah of um, Sophia Ali of Grey's Anatomy fame uh, to basically join them on the journey as well. And so there is a lot of betrayal and trust issues along the way as Chloe uh, Nathan Drake and so they kind of betray each other at weird points in time throughout the story uh, So they have to have to work on their trust issues over the movie And so basically more than anything else they're trying to make sure that this treasure doesn't get into the wrong hands And that it gets into the safe hands, but in Sully's case he wants to keep some of it for himself um, But for the most part it's about a treasure hunting story of getting the treasure into the right hands instead of the wrong hands but overall, guys, I really enjoyed Uncharted. Um, it's not like an Indiana Jones quality movie. Um, I would say whatever your favorite adventure film was going into this movie is probably still going to be your favorite adventure film leaving this movie. Um, it's definitely not a film that reinvents the wheel in any way. Um, it, it is a very fun film. Um, there is a lot of things about it that I think are perfectly watchable. And one of those things where if you know nothing about the games, I don't think it's one of those films that talks down to you and makes you ex expects you to kind of know everything about the games going in and stuff. And as usual too, video game movies don't have the greatest reputation. Uh, I'm one of the few people that is still rooting for video game movies to be good one day, to hopefully be as good as comic book movies at some point. Um, you know, I know we have a Mario movie by Illumination Entertainment coming out soon, as well as a, another Sonic live action movie, which I enjoyed the first one of that one. Um, so I think video game movies are slowly, they're trying to slowly figure out how to make them. And so I think Uncharted, for me personally, is another achievement as far as how to get it right, um, even if it doesn't successfully find its own voice or anything like that. Um, but let's go over some positives and negatives of Uncharted and why it's it's a fun movie. It's a great movie. I think it works well as a video game adaptation to film. But there's certain things about it that keep it from being like an Indiana Jones or even a Tomb Raider or things like that as far as quality is concerned. 
for, so for the most part, I think it's a very fun film. It's just one of those films where you can pop it in, have some popcorn, uh, really just enjoy the story that unfolds in front of you um, on the screen. Uh, it's just one of those stories where you don't have to think too hard while watching it. It's just one of those things where there is a little bit of history thrown in there. I'm sure some of it was made up while some of it was based off real things that happened. Uh, it's just a very fun film that you can pop in, enjoy, turn your brain off for a little while, and just enjoy the adventure that the film takes you on. Another positive I have with the film is Tom Holland and Walt, Mark Wahlberg have great screen chemistry. Um, even though their age difference is, is very far apart and they're very much younger interpretations of the characters that people are going to be used to from the games. Because in the games, Nathan Drake is way older and Sully is way older in the games as well. So this is clearly a much younger interpretation of those two characters. Uh, but I think they have great screen chemistry. I thought they played off of each other very well. Um, it just was a very fun film to see the two of them going back and forth and cracking jokes at each other and trying to land treasure with each other and things like that. It's just a very fun screen chemistry combo that I think really works well in this movie. Sophia Lee, like I said, plays a character named Chloe in this. Um, definitely somebody that has no problem backstabbing the guys as the film progresses, but I really liked her performance. I really hope this actress shows up in more movies. Um, like I said, I, I know she appeared in, um, I saw online somewhere that she appeared in Grey's Anatomy at one point. Uh, but I really, after seeing her perform in this movie, I really hope she performs in more films. I think she definitely can keep up with a Tom Holland or a Mark Wahlberg or a Antonio Banderas. I think she really is very good at what she does. So I really liked how she played the Chloe character in this. Can't really specifically say how good she was to the Chloe character from the games. I think I've only played one of the games years ago, so I really can't, um, comment on how well she adapted that character to the screen but as far as kind of creating her own character for this movie I think it works for the film that they were telling and um, I really enjoyed her performance in this. And this is a very much a film where you have to really enjoy the international globe trotting of it. It really is a film where they do things in the US, they do things in India, they do things in this resort place, they do things in there. Uh, they definitely travel from place to place finding clues and finding other treasures. Um, and I really enjoyed the globetrotting aspect of this film. I thought it was very fun. Definitely a fun international flavor for this movie as far as the uh, film production goes. Um, it was just a very fun globetrotting adventure that I enjoyed from start to finish. And there really is some fun action sequences here. There is a scene that's obviously depicted quite a bit in the trailers where uh, Nathan Drake has to get back onto a plane after... Um, hitting all these cargo boxes that are flying out of the back and things like that. Uh, there's another fun sequence of um, him and Mark Wahlberg fighting off these bandits on these flying pirate ships at the end of the movie, and they kind of explain how that's able to work for the film like this. And so there's just a lot of fun sequences like that that are really fun to watch here in this movie. It's just, like I said, a very fun, turn-your-brain-off kind of movie. Uncharted is clearly that kind of movie, and I had a lot of fun watching it. But for my negatives of Uncharted, there is a lot of hokey moments here. Like I said, even though I enjoyed the action sequences and things like that, there is a lot of moments here where Nathan Drake can land in the water without a parachute. There's scenes where um, characters can hang on for dear life on the side of a ship and not get hurt or not break a bone or not get killed. Uh, there's just a lot of scenes here where it's just kind of hard to believe some of the physics and some of the things that are happening on screen. It's definitely not... The most grounded in reality kind of film I've ever seen. I, I was hoping more for how they handled the Tomb Raider reboot from a couple years back. I thought that was a little bit more grounded in reality than this film was, um, and it, it achieved that feeling better than this film did. Um, so there's just a lot of hokey moments here that kind of take you out of the movie for a little bit. There's just a lot of scenes where it's like, I just can't see somebody surviving that or getting through that or having that much knowledge that quickly to get out of that situation. So there's just a lot of moments here where some of the believability is thrown out the window a little bit. There's just, uh, there's another scene too where um, Nathan Drake and Chloe are stranded and they end up on an island somewhere and they have to figure out you know where to get the treasure from this island that they're on. And it, they very conveniently have spare changes of clothes, credit cards, cash, all the stuff that clearly they didn't have with them when they dropped out of the plane. Um, there's just a lot of scenes like that where just like, Okay, you fell out of a plane with just the clothes on your body, but yet you have credit cards, cash, spare changes of clothes, swimsuits, um, equipment, uh, rental boat stuff. Like, like all the stuff that we clearly they didn't have going into 
th this mission on this plane. And so there's just a lot of scenes like that where um, they clearly didn't think it out too well. Um, even even an explanation, the most extravagant explanation they could have done would have been better than how they handled it. They just kind of be like, yeah, they they managed to land this resort and they have all these spare changes of clothes and credit cards and cash and they can rent a boat and they know all the people on the land and they know other languages outside of English and just all this stuff that just like if anybody else was in that situation, that's exactly how it would play out. They would not be able to resent, rent out a rent a hotel and things like that. Uh, there's just a lot of scenes like that that really just kind of boggle your mind as far as where the film is and kind of not acknowledging enough as to where these characters are in the story and things like that. Uh, there's just a lot of hokey moments too. Like they find clues at a nightclub that's right next to the place that they got to find clues and treasure at. Same thing again. There's a Papa John's that they find where they, they have to insert the key there to get another clue slash map thing. Uh, there's just a lot of moments like that that really kind of take you out of the movie that really don't make you believe what's going on. So there's just... As far as hokey moments go, this film has tons of them. Uh, so hopefully if we do get an Uncharted 2, they can kind of back down on the hokiness a little bit, hopefully. Um, there's another thing that happens in this movie a lot too, where there's just, just a lot of betrayal situations, just a lot of characters betraying one another throughout the movie. Um, and for me personally, it was kind of hard to get into the film because I really wanted to see a progression of Nathan Drake a progression of Sully, a progression of Chloe, and they're just so busy betraying each other all the time, it's hard to kind of get into their character development just because they're betraying each other so often. Um, so it's it's fine if one or two times they got to do it to kind of get to the next clue or something, but I feel like every couple seconds in this movie, somebody's betraying somebody else, and it just kind of got old after a while. So I thought that aspect of the story was a little disappointing too. And also the villain of this film is very last minute. I'm not going to spoil who it is, of course, because it's, I, I do try to do spoiler-free reviews. Uh, but, um, yeah, the villain's been introduced at the very last minute. Uh, they really don't any do any explanation at all or development at all for this villain. Um, it's just kind of like, hey, you look like you're having fun on the set today. Why don't you be the villain today and stuff like that. So there's just a lot of carelessness in the script as far as that stuff was concerned. Uh, I thought that aspect of the story was really disappointing, too. And then my last negative of this movie is I thought the film had no sense of physics. I did kind of bring this up a little bit earlier, <clears throat> but there is a lot of scenes where it's just like when you fall out of a plane hundreds of feet in the air like that, there is no way you would live without a parachute or anything or a soft surface of any kind just by falling out and just kind of safely landing on water or safely landing on land. Uh, there's just a lot of physics problems here that just would not work, that would not play out well in real life. Um, and there's just a lot of moments like that that take you out of the film a little bit too. So overall, I'm going to give Uncharted an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a very good movie. I think it's a lot of fun. Definitely a film where if you can turn your brain off and just enjoy yourself, I think you'll have the most fun possible with it. But like I said, there is a lot of hokey stuff here. There's just a lot of stuff here that is a little hard to believe that that's where, tr where the treasures and the clues are and things like that. The villain was extremely last minute. Um, too many betrayals happen throughout the movie that really kind of take you out of it. Uh, but like I said, 8.5 out of 10. It's a very fun film. Um, I think you'll enjoy yourself if you're just in looking for a fun adventure film. And don't go into this expecting like a pure exact from the game's Uncharted uh, reference kind of thing. Um, it really is kind of its own little adventure with Uncharted characters. But I do recommend the film. I do recommend seeing it. It's an 8.5 out of 10 for me.